Here we have our uh, S2000, which we will be installing an aftermarket wideband O2 sensor, in this case an AEM uh, wideband, onto our S2000 and hooking it up to a Honda Data standalone engine management system. So the first step is right here. We have our test pipe already removed from the car. Since there's no secondary O2 sensor or catalytic converter, we're going to take our uh, Bosch O2 sensor and install it right here into where the secondary O2 sensor would be. Just plug it in, thread it a little bit, and get your 22 millimeter wrench. Give it a couple turns. All right, so now you can uh, bolt up your test pipe. Now the O2 sensor is installed here. Uh, once it's bolted up and tightened, we can run the wiring up to the inside the chassis cabin. And so next we're going to uh, connect the O2 sensor to the new wiring harness for the primary for the wideband O2 sensor. So I like to just run it up here over top of the uh, transmission rear mount and just clip it in, secure it, nice and secure. And from here we're just going to go ahead and zip tie this to the uh, original uh, O2 wiring harness and run this all the way into the cabin. So next, now that the uh, connector for the wide van is up here on the top of the engine bay, we uh, just poked a little hole in the factory grommet for the uh, engine wiring harness to run it through uh, into the cabin of the car. So poke a hole, and you can just shove it through the metal here into the cabin. Here you go. Yeah, All right, so now since we're installing the wideband where the uh, audio control button used to be, we decided to pull the entire cluster trim surround out. So that just requires you to remove the lower under panel and to drop the two 12 millimeter nuts to lower the steering column enough to successfully unclip this and remove it. All right, so now that our uh, audio control switches are removed, we can uh, remove that screw, pop the cover off, and then the motherboard just comes right out. And next up, we can drill this out to mount the gauge inside. All right, so once you're done dremeling, it should look something like this. You can see the panel has been very gutted out, so that's kind of necessary if you want to put it in this location. As you can see, we still retain the use of the stock clip while looking nice and flush. All right, so next we're wiring up the other uh, harness for the O2 for the wideband. So the black is going to be the ground, we're just going to crimp on a uh, ring terminal and ground it to the chassis. The blue is a serial output, uh, we're not going to be using that. The red is uh, for the power, and here we're going to be using an ADA fuse to tap into the factory S2000 fuse box. And finally the white is for the analog uh, O2 sensor output, and we're going to be adding, in a, well I added a factory Honda ECU pin, and we're just going to be tapping it straight into the ECU. So you're just going to want to solder these connections to ensure a nice good seal. So now we've uh, reinstalled this little trim piece with the bezel and the AEM wideband and uh, pulled the two wiring harnesses through the dashboard up top here. So the first wiring harness was the one that uh, connected to the wideband itself and the second one was the one we just finished making. 
down here. So we've used the uh, the white uh, wire goes into the ECU to the A30 pin to hook up to the Honda. Uh, the red wire at hooks up to the fuse box uh, to get power, and the black one is just on the chassis ground, as you can see. So now the most important step, making sure it works. Ooh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. So now that we have the uh, wideband connected and installed, in order to make sure Honda Data can read it, we have to plug in the ECU, go to the settings tab, wideband input, and select use an external wideband input from the ELD pin. Note that this is for data logging display only. Uh, now depending on what uh, uh, wideband sensor you're running, you're gonna have to implement the, the voltage offsets. So in our case, the AEM ones, we were able to find them online. We're just gonna be able to imp implement them and then it should all be set to data log. Alright, all right, now that she's all hooked up, the only thing left to do is take it out for a rip, go for a nice little data log, you know, see how she runs. <laughs> 